Hello everyone. Of course you know me, I'm John Doe. We're going to do another Comrades Let's Talk video where I give a few updates about the channel, what's going on with me and such. And then we'll get into a little topic. Now basically I got um, at least four videos coming up here on the main channel soon. So look forward to that. Um, definitely one is going to be on a recent decision by the UN to ban Japan from Arctic whaling. Also, I want to do a video on the recent thing of the Cuban Twitter issue and a couple of other really nice surprises. And for me personally, uh, my health has got a lot better. So I'm feeling a lot better actually. My immune system is finally um, starting to behave the way it should. And plus, you know, we got the great spring weather here in here in Japan right now, I got cherry blossoms out and all that, so I'm liking that, you know. So, anyways, we have those things to look forward to. Let's get into a little bit of a topic here, where about um, fighting capitalism in the first world. Now, of course, that's a very tall order, and many Marxists believe it's impossible that we, you know, we just give up on the first world at all. Give up on all first world workers. But that's not really a good idea in my mind. Now it's true that first world workers do benefit from capitalist exploitation. Of course. It's first world workers do live a lot better compared to third world workers because the first world is the bastion of capitalist exploitation. So, in order for the capitalists to maintain their base, they'll treat first world workers a little bit better than they will a third world worker. Because these days in capitalism, where all the exploitation is going, the only, only place that capitalists really have to expand is in the third world. They stomp, stomp, stomp on the third world. We know that. But to simply give up on these first world workers is really, really bad idea. Let me explain why just a little. I could go into great detail, but I want, for the purpose of this video, I want to keep it as short as possible. Here's why. As the exploitation of the third world continues to increase and intensify, they start to revolt, which they are doing now. There's revolts going on globally. Now this puts pressure on the capitalist class. And as third world workers start to have more success and Marxist parties start to have more success it makes it harder for capitalists to exploit the third world so where are they going to get their where are they going to keep exploiting surplus value where are they going to keep getting their profit from well they have to go back to their base they're going to start cutting things from the first world workers start cutting things now, a first world worker will very notice this a lot and will want to do something about it. And that's where fundamentally a Marxist, Marxist come into play. When they start to lose these things, they're going to be angry. Now, they're going to want to do something. They're going to want to revolt somehow, some way. So they will start to organize. And they will start to fight back. Now you have pressure coming from both ends. So yeah, should not give up on first world workers. It is they're not pressured enough. They're not losing enough yet, but they're starting to. And as this process goes on, all us Marxists who have given up on the first world will leave an open opportunity for capitalists to maintain their power. So be very aware of that. And I say I don't want to give too many comments about this because a lot of opinions about it out there, and rather let people discuss it, you know, later on in comment sections or elsewhere on the internet there. So, just a quick short video about this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. You can interact with me. We can share videos around. We can share ideas. We can learn from each other. And also check out my second channel if you haven't. It's called Drinking with a Marxist. It goes a lot more into Marxist theory, Marxist ideas, and Stuff like that in great in-depth. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Checking out.